And the real question is, are we going to see the fourth heat wave of the summer? Now, let's not forget for it technically to be a heat wave, we do need to see temperatures of between 25 to 28 degrees Celsius, depending on your location in the UK. So a little bit higher across central areas and parts of the southeast. And we need to see those temperatures or higher for three consecutive days. Now, temperatures look like they're on the up from Sunday onwards, but there's still a little bit of a question mark as to how long the heat could last. Nevertheless, whether it's a uh, heat wave or not, temperatures are going to be on the up. So here we have temperatures compared to the climatological average here in the UK. And you can see already from these charts, these are daytime temperatures along the bottom from Sunday to Wednesday. And these are overnight temperatures from Sunday night through into Tuesday night. So it's not just the days that are going to be warming up, it's the nights as well. And you can see quite clearly already day to day temperatures are on the up shown by these slightly darker red colours. So initially on Sunday, the bulk of the heat is going to be across central England, parts of the southeast East Anglia, London in particular, we're going to start to see temperatures pushing through into the high 20s. And then from Monday onwards, there's a good chance that we'll start to see temperatures push into the low 30s as well. Once again, initially across central parts of England on Monday, parts of the southeast, but this time pushing a little further north, parts of Yorkshire, Lincolnshire too, could start to see those uh, temperatures push up into the high 20s. And then we really do see that intense heat push through on Tuesday. That's likely going to be the peak of the heat, Tuesday daytime, where we'll start to see those temperatures around 30 degrees, if not a few degrees more, probably around a 10% chance that we could push up into 34, possibly 35 degrees Celsius, and similar on Wednesday. After that, there's a little bit of model spread, a little bit of uncertainty as to if we're going to see the heat continue or if we're going to see things perhaps turn a little bit more towards average for the time of year. Nevertheless, though, the temperatures are on the up and not just during the day, but overnight as well. And we're going to start to see humidity increase, too. So by kind of Monday night, Tuesday night, a chance actually, particularly around London, that we could see a tropical night. And that's when temperatures don't drop below 20 degrees for a full 24 hour period. And if it's quite humid as well, it doesn't make for the most comfortable uh, sleeping, particularly if you're in the southeast. But how hot is it actually going to get? Let's take a look at that. And we can use our what we call box and whisker plots um, to kind of take a look at that over the next couple of weeks. And we've used these before on lives. We've used them in quite a few of our videos. But essentially, the longer the, the box, so these red boxes are daytime temperatures, the longer the box, the more spread there is in the models about what exactly that maximum temperature is going to be. But if the boxes are quite short, there's actually quite a lot of agreement. So Monday, for example, this is Reading in the south. We can see on Monday that box is actually quite short. So temperatures are likely to be in the mid to high 20s. Then as we head into Tuesday, a bit more spread, a bit more of a longer box. So still a little bit of uncertainty as to what the exact highest temperature is going to be. But some models are indicating that we could get kind of 31, 32, possibly a degree or two higher as we head on to Tuesday. And as I say, that's likely to be the peak of the heat. And it's not just across the south or northern areas as well are set to see an increase in the heat, perhaps not pushing into 30 degrees, but certainly the mid to high 20s as we head uh, kind of early into next week. And then, as I say, from Wednesday onwards, we see a bit more of a spread in those temperatures. Um, so a little bit more of a question mark as to how long that heat's going to last. But certainly Monday, Tuesday and possibly Wednesday, we're going to see that heat increase. And the question is, I suppose, why? Why are we starting to see this uh, kind of return um, of the heat? And it's all to do with, well, it's a few things, actually. It's day-to-day -day heating. So day by day, obviously, the surface, the air is already hot. And then if the next day is hot again, that just adds to the heat that was already there. We also have high pressure dominating the weather and in a high pressure situation generally the air is moving down and as it does so it compresses that creates heat as well so it's all about subsidence so you've got day-to-day -day heating you've got subsidence and not only that but by the time we reach tuesday we do actually see a slight change in our wind direction uh, as we see a shift in where that high pressure sits and we start to pick up a bit of a southerly southeasterly wind as well so then we start to pick up that quite warm air across Europe. Obviously, there's heat wave conditions across much of Europe at the moment. So with that change in wind direction, we're also expecting more heat from Europe too, particularly on Tuesday, where we are expecting the peak of those temperatures. So there's a few things going on, which is why temperatures are starting to increase. But obviously, as I said, for it to be technically a heat wave, we need to see those hot temperatures over three consecutive days. 
So it could be a heat wave or we could just see an increase in the heat, but nevertheless, it is certainly going to be feeling warm and many of us are going to be seeing plenty of sunshine.